kind of performance in the normal muffler. That's uh, all to do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking, uh, probably in, I don't know what that is there, B, probably B1. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it here. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Hey guys, how's she going today? Would you look at that? Just look at it. Look at all the shiny new parts. Oh, holy moly. Boy, is that ever nice. Should be good for another 20 miles, I hope. <laughs> ah, fuck. Anyway, look at this, too. Nice! 111 gallon tank and a toolbox. So that's going to have diesel and then I've got everything. I went on a bit of a spending spree at the old Cambodian Canadian Tire and Princess of Sasatos. <laughs> yeah, so that big red toolbox, I got like a thousand dollars worth of stuff in that. <laughs> Good thing everything locks. <laughs> everything that I need, I got a tap and die set and sockets and wrenches and you name it. Because I hate having to take shit out of the shop because then it ends up in a truck and ends up in a tractor and then there's nothing in the shop. So in theory this way there won't be as much taken out of the shop, right? <laughs> Probably not, but it's a good theory, isn't it? Uh, anyway, what else has happened today? Break in the rain, one day of sun here, but 7721 is home. The hydraulic pump that runs the pickup is fooked. So we've got to make uh, run hoses from the tractor and we're going to just run it direct like how the 1682 is. And I bought a piece for the Redicop chaff saver on there. They just had that old beat to death piece of shit on there. So you take off that blower piece there that goes up the back of the combine and you attach this and it swirls in there. And the air comes out the top and the chaff and grain and whatever else you've got, your shrivelly ones, come out this and lands on your straw swath and then you can bale it because otherwise all of that good stuff is under the straw and you can't get it in the bale. So I got this from Oxbow, which is about an hour away from here for 500 bucks. Well, that plus another entire Redicop, so I'll have spare parts anyways. But what I'm really working on is this. I had to go get some metal. It's wore right through and someone else has worked on it at some point, but that's what tightens up your belt, so, or your canvas. So I want to lay that strip here, like that, and we'll uh, weld her up and we should be Good for another couple of years, I hope, anyway. So, yes, I'll get the MIG welder ruled out here and we'll bring you back in a few. <laughs> well, it's a couple days later. <clears throat> it's been raining ever since. I, uh, I got the swather together, but I forgot to make a video of it after. But, oh well. So, we're putting all new belts on the 1682 because the old ones were fooked. We got some nice new westward belts, right? Amanda's having fun with her little blue wire. <laughs> anyway, I'll get this pushed around and we'll talk to you in a minute. Here, hold it like that. Come over here, tripod. <laughs> Aim it like, just like that. There's Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> What you doing? What's going on, Keegan? Uh, we... Are we spending money? No. No. Where do you 
videoing, Keegan. <laughs> oh, off you? Hey, your video won't be What? <laughs> Why is it not out by too many? What way is it going to go? My way. The top right? How's that? Give it here, boy. I took that red one. Did you? Good job. Be a wire. In your pants, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Boy, I like the way you thread that wire through the holes. <laughs> you want a video now? Okay, here. Don't put your hands in the camera. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> He's just doing some tractor stuff. <laughs> no, I'm going to get mommy's back. Just videoing mommy's back. Okay, go video Finn. Go get a video of Finn. Well, uh, I, I got video of Finn too. Ask Papa Henry what he's been doing today. I see Finn! Finn! Did she see what have you been doing today? Yeah, yeah. What have you been doing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Finn, hey. what's your picture taking? Look at that. <laughs> there. That's going to be a nice picture. Finn, I don't know what's going on. So, Finn. Are you nuts? <laughs> there. One more to do. Then we'll tighten them up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Right, you old codger? <laughs> right. Right? Right. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, fucking old cock fucker. Yeah. Fucking, fucking, fuck. yeah. Amanda's representing. Yeah. Fucking 4494 <laughs> never looked so good. <laughs> Get your shirts, guys. They're from old Tice and old Ace T. He's got lots of good shit for sale over there. It's going straight into his retirement fund, so. Anyway, talk to you in a few. Well, it just rained two inches <laughs> yesterday, but it's been hot and sunny all day. And after today, there's a bunch of rain in the forecast again. So, I mean, we're, we're here. We may as well try it, right? Pick up turns. I'm gonna go and try a sample. Like I said, we're here. Why not? Okay, bring you back in a minute. Well, it's another cold, wet day the next day <laughs> just on our way back from grandpa's we went and got a load of 22 barley straw bales there's 300 and some of them there 305 or something like that so be a few trips back and forth but um, I'm hoping this afternoon the uh, rollers for the pickup on the 2188 will be ready we can go and pick those up and get that pickup put back together on it and be ready to go for uh, canola and go with all three of them that way. The way this is going, it might end up being all four of them. <laughs> anyway, I guess I'll, when I get back home here, we'll uh, 
see if we want to unload it or not. I'm not sure uh, if it's going to be too wet at home to get out and unload them or I want to put them or not. So, find out when we get there. So, talk in a few. Oh, we're all over the place here today again. <laughs> ah, they're taking canola today again at the elevator. It's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. They're open till 7. So we're gonna go and load up and haul in the last of my contract. We never got to finish hauling the other day because it got too wet. The roads were too gross and the yard was too soft. We were just gonna make a big mess. So piss on it, we said. Today it's a lot, the roads are a lot drier. And uh, they're taken, so we got three loads to take. We're gonna load up the two tandems and the brown three ton. And that'll get us pretty goddamn close to where we need to be, I think. So that is, uh, the unofficial plan anyways, but I think this vidge is long enough. Probably where I'm going to leave you, so I guess thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Talk to all you in the next one.